The B-Link SER7 is a pretty awesome machine, especially if you like to game. And it's a great option in that mid to upper tier range that's not gonna break the bank. But unfortunately, there's one glaring issue, as there always seems to be with B-Link, that keeps me from giving it a recommendation of buy. B-Link SER7 is a solid build. It's a metal aluminum chassis. It measures in about 4.9 by 4.4 by 1.9 inches and weighs about 652 grams. On the front, we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a USB-C Type-C, a USB 3.20 port, and finishing on the right with a power button. The back has a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port and two USB 2.0 ports. There is a display port and an HDMI port, which when combined with the two USB 4 ports provides a quad monitor display ability. There's also this kind of unique power connector. It's a little different from the norm. It has a magnetic connection, which simply slides into place. More on that later. This little powerhouse packs a punch. It uses the AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS. That provides eight cores, 16 threads, base 3.0 gigahertz, boosting up to 5.10 gigahertz. The CPU is a AMD Radeon 7800M, 12 cores, 2700 megahertz frequency. This model as shown comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 SODIMM dual channel RAM. It also shipped with a one terabyte M.2 2280 PCIe 4.0 one terabyte SSD. It includes Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, and 2.5 gigabit ethernet. In regards to power usage, while this thing was idle, it was only sucking about 12.9 watts. When we were using it at full power and full peak, it was at 85.2 watts. In terms of benchmarks, I won't bore you with all the details, but in summary, know that this thing performed a little bit less than we expected on common PC tasks and workday tasks, things like Word documents, things like surfing the internet, and even streaming. Now where it shined and punched well above its weight class was actually when we were playing PC games. It did really well and it actually surprised us and did a little bit more than we thought. Of course, this thing's not going to play all AAA games with high settings, but in terms of AA games and even AAA games at medium to low settings at 1080, this thing seems to do really, really good. And if you're one of those emulation heads, man, there's probably no better choice. For the money, this thing will play up to PlayStation 2 and can go well beyond that if you decide to push it a bit more. If you know, you know. Now my use case is mainly for gaming in my RV, although I still use it in my RV for work connected to Starlink and it is absolutely phenomenal for both of those things. The combination of the AMD 7840HS and the Radeon 780M mobile chip for the graphics is pretty incredible as compared to even a generation ago. That leap is quite massive. Why did I decide to buy this, let's say, over something like a laptop that has the same combination? Well, at this price, especially getting it what I did on Prime Day for a little over $500, you're not going to find a laptop that has this specs for less than probably 2x of the cost that I paid for this mini PC. So for in terms of those features and as compared to a laptop, I just prefer to have my own kit. Even if I'm using a laptop, I'm still gonna bring my own keyboard and mouse to play games. So for those reasons, one being cost and the other, just having less you know, clutter in your physical space, I really do recommend mini PCs. Now this is actually my second B-Link purchase. I actually purchased the SER6 last Prime Day, and again, it didn't really suit my needs and I had some issues with that computer. You see, when I added in the second hard drive, it actually closed it down so that it couldn't expel hot air very efficiently. So unfortunately, during my play, the computer would just shut down. And after time, it actually bricked the system. And this brings me to one of the big issues that I have overall and globally with B-Link. When I brick the computer, there seems to be a huge difference between American customer support and Chinese customer support. 
The Chinese wanted me to rip it apart, kind of just self-diagnose it, and then send me parts to fix something that went bad within the first month of my computer. Now it's well known at this time that SER6 has massive overheating issues, and it's just because of the way they designed it. Especially if you add in a second drive, it sits on top of it, and it creates a very, very hot environment which as you know, is not good for computers. So unfortunately, after a bunch of different things that I ran through with them, they still refused to send me a new computer and I ended up just not messing with it and just parted it out and used it in some other projects I had. But when I saw the BE7 come online and I did a bunch of research, I saw nothing but glowing reviews. There didn't seem to be any problems and they seem to have fixed the overheating issue in this version. Plus, with that combination of graphics and chipset, I knew that I could play my favorite video game with relative ease. So while I questioned their customer service, I kind of figured that they had it all worked out. The problem that I found was actually with the power supply. They use a proprietary magnetic power clip that just seems kind of an odd choice. One, because it's super proprietary. If you lose that cord, you're not gonna find it on Amazon. You're gonna to have to go directly to B-Link to get a replacement, which is kind of annoying. With this power cord, there's nothing I can do to solve it. So what happened was I connected it, and if I just slightly bump this machine, or I pound on my keyboard too hard, it's gonna come offline. If you know anything about that, when it does a hard cutoff, meaning the electricity is pulled from the machine, it's not good for computers, even in this modern age, and even with some safeguards in the OS, you can still have some problems. And unfortunately, when I reached out to them, instead of saying, yes, this is four days old, we'll send you a new one, they tried to send me an adapter. Now I'm sorry, and maybe B-Link could learn from this. I don't want to have to have an adapter and put something on a brand new machine. What I wanted was a replacement. Now again, they refused to replace it. Luckily I bought it from Amazon. Amazon, oddly enough, refused to give me a replacement with it, but they will refund my money. So because of the issue with this constantly coming on and off, I am going to send it back and probably wait again until we see a company that you know does everything right when it comes to the mini PCs. Now, if you guys have used any mini PCs that you like and haven't had any problems with it, whether that be Minisform or something like that, please let me know because I am in the market, especially with this combination. But because of those two reasons, one being the power supply issue and two being their lackluster customer service, I, I can't recommend that you run out and buy it as sexy as it is and it as great of a computer that it is when it runs. I just can't rely on the power supply and I'm not gonna certainly use an adapter on a brand new machine B-Link. Come on, man. And I do recognize that maybe this is a one-off, but again, when you go online and you start digging deep and you get past of most of the mountain of this is an awesome machine, you'll find a couple of people that are running into the same problem. Not just one or two, but a good amount of people that are running into this problem. Maybe other people just sit it on their desk and they have it away and it's super stable and it never happens. But for someone like me who's got big hands and is super clumsy, I'm going to bump my machines here and there. There's absolutely no reason it should shut off none whatsoever and it just has to do with this poor design so what's our takeaways the ser6 we saw poor design the ser7 we saw poor design they can just stop doing these proprietary things and just stick with normal conventions i think they would do much better and i'd be able to say don't just buy this thing run out and buy it but for right now i can't give it that pass just because I think there's a potential that you, one, may have a power issue, and two, if you lose this power cord, you're going to have to hope that B-Link still produces them. Anyways, I hope you found value in this. I'm Hill Phantom. I'll see you next time.